This is a demonstration of an architecture for lifelike robotic motion. What I'm showing here is a platform that we set up for some cognitive experiments where we can drive a series of algorithms for high-level emotional control of a robot using a standard game controller. We found this was a great platform for experimenting with uh, gaze, direction, gaze direction here, the way the robot moves here, and then the rest of the buttons control emotional state. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the behaviors we've implemented to date uh, over on the robot here. So this is a neutral resting state. Uh, it's characterized by ambient motion. The, the robot seems alive because there are a lot of layered continuous functions running at once. Now, when I drive the robot forward, I give it the high level direction to move forward, but the way it moves is dependent on its mood. So I can make the robot happy, which is expressed in his face. I can also control where and how he looks. Here's an example of the robot getting sad. And this is an angry robot. You see he expresses that also in his posture. So he has a much more active rhythm. And it's expressed in his whole body. And similarly, fear involves drawing back. And when the robot becomes inquisitive, he pushes forward again. And the robot can also act surprised. The other behavior we have is nervousness. So his rhythms become much more frequent and erratic. And here's an experiment in uh, a certain type of locomotion. Uh, we call this a pigeon walk because the robot pulls himself along and he backs up similarly. So the robot isn't actually using that momentum to bring himself forward, but like an animator, we have used our degrees of freedom to simulate that kind of motion. Now I'll make him sleepy. And that's it. You know what I may want to do is when I when I introduce this, then maybe I should bring it over here so we could just show you know. Yeah, one. hold it closer to the robot. Yeah, so you can show both things at once, just for a, just for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Just like happy and sad. Right. You're not.
shooting now. Yeah, you just turn first. Yeah, I'll tell you one. Okay. This is a demonstration of an architecture we've developed for lifelike robotic motion. It's based on principles of periodic motion synthesis, uh, primarily developed by Ken Perlin. And we've applied those to a, to a robot, which we're currently controlling using this uh, remote controller. We use this to give high-level commands to the robot, so we have gaze direction and the movement of the platform controlled with the two joysticks, and then the other buttons control body and facial affect. Here's a simple example. I can make the robot happy, uh, just a happy facial expression, or sad, just by pressing these buttons. So, a robot can move through space. The way that it moves is parameterized around its emotional state. So I'll make it happy again. This is an angry expression. Now you see that the angry expression is also expressed in its body gesture. So we can use the face and the body in the expression of emotions. Uh, coming backwards, we can express fear. And another one coming forwards can express inquisitiveness. This is an expression of surprise. This is a nervous expression. Again, it's expressed through the whole body, not just the face. These are all principles of traditional animation. We're very much inspired by the work done at Disney Studios and Warner Brothers and throughout the 20th century. Now, this is an experiment in locomotion. So this is a walk that's supposed to look a bit like a pigeon. You see, it looks like the robot is pulling itself forward using the momentum of its head, and similarly backwards. Now, we're not, in fact, using the momentum of the head to drive the robot, but using the principle of, of animation, we can make it seem like that. So, now the robot will get a little sleepy. That's it.